Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today we're going to be talking about AMP. According to data from Google, most users bounce if a page takes longer than three seconds to load. AMP, or Accelerated Mobile Pages, is an open source project led by Google to ensure that mobile web pages operate at optimal speed. AMP is meant to load the content in a way that functions more like an app than a mobile web page. AMP was originally built as a response to projects like Facebook Instant Articles, which are a native format in Facebook that load very quickly and are more user-friendly than a normal mobile page. This is helpful for both user experience and accessibility, as some countries still have slow connections. AMP is so fast because it loads as an HTML page that is lightweight and stripped down. AMP simplifies typical HTML by requiring rules to be followed for AMP validation, including ban inline JS, the AMP web components provide JS as a part of AMP library, CSS can only be 50k, and originally Google cached the content on a Google URL for a quick access. This last bullet point meant that AMP pages actually lived on a Google URL, and Google URLs would show in search results, not the publishers. Many publishers found this intrusive and annoying. Google changed this in 2018 by providing the ability for publishers to cache content on their own URLs. Pages that have a valid AMP version will be served within the mobile results as a carousel above the rest of the results for a particular topic. Publishers that want to use AMP still need a regular desktop version of those pages. For example, if you have an AMP version of a particular page, you would need to mark it with a rel AMP HTML link on your desktop page, which would point Google in the direction of your AMP HTML page. So publishers that choose to adopt AMP would end up with a page on their domain constructed of AMP HTML, as well as a regular HTML version of the page. Just like the rest of your website, it is important to track the performance of your AMP pages. However, to do this, you can't use Google Analytics normally. There are plugins and codes that can be implemented so you can track these pages' performances, such as a Google Tag Manager and the AMP plugin for WordPress. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this playlist, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn at ezoic.com and ezoic.com slash blog. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.